Hey, are you okay? I saw you struggling in the water. Oh God, I can't swim. Please help me, I'm drowning. Oh no, someone's in trouble in the water. I can't let her drown. But wait, I'm terrified of water. What do I do? Okay, JJ, you can do this. It's just water. Just take a deep breath and go. Please, help. I can't hold on much longer. Just doing what anyone should do. Remember, it's okay to be scared, but it's not okay to let fear stop you from helping others. All right, let's get you out of the water. Hold on tight. Thank you so much for saving me. I can't believe you went through all that to help. No problem. Just glad you're safe. I might not be Michael Phelps, but I did my best. You risked so much for me. I don't even know how to thank you. Just seeing you safe is enough for me. Oh, uh, you really don't have to do that. No, seriously, you're my hero. I can't help it. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Thanks for the appreciation, but I, um, I'm not looking for any, you know, romantic involvement right now. You can't escape that easily. JJ, I'm not just going to let you disappear after saving my life. Hey, Mikey, you won't believe what happened today. You've missed out on so much, buddy. Really? What's going on, JJ? I can't believe I've been out of the loop. Uh, well, brace yourself. You know, I walk in, right? And there's this incredible vibe in the air, like the universe conspired to make my day. Intriguing. I feel like I've stepped into a movie plot. Tell me more. So, get this. I ended up saving a girl from drowning today. She was struggling in the water, and I couldn't just stand there. I dove in, pulled her out, and guess what? She gave me a kiss on the cheek as a thank you. I'm genuinely thrilled for you, JJ. But maybe you should think twice before jumping into more unexpected situations. You never know what might happen. All right, JJ, here's the deal. When we hit the beach, act casual. Don't let anyone suspect you've just been kissed by a grateful damsel in distress. Got it, Mikey. I'll play it cool. But seriously, do I look like someone who just saved a life? You look like someone who's about to have a good time at the beach. Now, follow my lead and we'll make sure no one notices anything unusual. Well, JJ, it's been quite a day. How about we head back home and catch some much-needed rest? You've earned it after all the excitement. You know what, Mikey? That sounds like the best idea. There you are, JJ. Always getting into some kind of adventure. I just wanted to let you know how amazing you are. Not just for saving a life, but for being the kind of person who jumps into action without a second thought. It's a rare quality, and I admire it more than words can say. As for the kiss, consider it a token of appreciation. Not everyone gets to play the hero, and I wanted to express your selflessness deserves more than just a pat on the back. I hope you enjoy the tranquility of your dreams tonight, free from the chaos and excitement of the day. And when you wake up, remember that you have a friend who thinks the world of you. I couldn't help but overhear your tales of rescues and unexpected kisses. Sweet dreams, hero. Hey, JJ, wake up. You won't believe what I just heard. What's up, Mikey? Did I miss something else exciting? What? A secret admirer? Where's the evidence? Well, it seems someone left you a little surprise last night. You got yourself a secret admirer or something. Is this the surprise? What's in here? Open it and find out. It's like a mystery novel, but real life. Mikey, listen to this part. In this book is written that I love you, JJ. What in the world? I'm at a loss for words. Love, huh? Looks like you've got a secret admirer confessing their feelings. This is so unexpected, but you might be onto something. Remember that girl from the beach? The one I saved? Yeah, could it be her? JJ, maybe we should consider going to the police and filing a statement about the person who kissed you. One eternity later. It could help clear things up and ensure your safety. Hi there! This might sound a bit unusual, but my friend received a mysterious note in a notebook, and we're not sure how to handle it. There's talk of a kiss, and someone claiming to love JJ. A mysterious note? You say? Well, let's hear the details. We're here to help with any concerns you might have. So, last night, I saved a girl from drowning at the beach, and she left a kiss on my cheek as a thank you. Today, I found this note in a notebook, saying she loves me. So you're saying there's nothing you can do? Well, relationships and personal feelings fall outside our jurisdiction unless there's a clear case of harassment or a threat. I see, it's just... We wanted to make sure everything was above board and figure out who this person is. I understand your concerns, but matters of the heart are often better addressed through communication. Okay, it looks like we'll have to leave with you because no one wants to accept our statement. What should we do now? 
How can we punish the one who kissed you? Okay, I have good news for you. I stole something from a policeman. Now I'll show you. I stole something that will help you find out the whole truth. I think you will be glad. Mikey, are you serious? You stole a flash drive from the police with security camera footage? Isn't that illegal? Relax, JJ. I didn't steal it. I borrowed it temporarily. We just need to find out who left you that note, and the cameras might have caught something. Well, Mikey, we're at the playground, just like the footage showed. Now we need to figure out where that notebook is hidden. Any ideas? Hmm, it could be anywhere around here. Let's ask around and see if anyone saw anything suspicious. We have almost arrived at this store. I would like to find the right CCTV camera with you to see the whole truth. Or rather, a laptop. Great. Now we'll buy everything we need and go home because we don't have much time left. The length some people go for love, huh? Sure thing. We've got a few laptops in stock. What specifications are you looking for? We're not too picky. Just something functional for basic use. Got it. I'll show you what we have. Follow me. Here are a couple of models you might like. They're reasonably priced and should suit your needs. Great, we are great. Well done for doing this. Let's keep up the good work. So, should we go ahead and purchase this laptop? Yeah, let's go for it. We can use it to review the footage and piece together more clues about the whole situation. Thanks, we'll make sure to put it to good use. All right, JJ, now let's find a quiet spot and see what secrets this laptop holds. Quick, Mikey, let's find a secluded spot where we can review the footage without anyone noticing. Here looks good. Set up the laptop and let's dive into this mystery. All right, let's see if we can find any more clues about what happened between the girl from the beach and Sarah. Agreed, we need to get to the bottom of this. All right, let's see if this laptop works. Fingers crossed, hopefully it's in good condition. Here's the footage from the park. Let's see if there are any more revelations. Now let's check the contents of that flash drive. Wait, the information about the girl from the beach is right here. It says she's currently positioned behind me. What, behind you? That's unexpected? Well, looks like you two have been busy detectives. Uh, hi there, we were just trying to understand what happened. Wait, what's happening? She's right here, but something's off. Why is she transforming into an animatronic? This is getting bizarre. Did we stumble into a virtual reality game or something? Mikey, we need to get out of here. This is not what I signed up for. Agreed, let's run. What in the world is going on? Are we trapped in some kind of twisted game? I have no idea, but we need to find a way out. Maybe there's an exit or something. JJ, we need to find a way to break free from this nightmare. What if we try using dynamite to block her path? Dynamite? That sounds extreme, but I'm willing to try anything at this point. Let's do it. You can't keep us apart. We'll be together no matter what. We can't let fear control us, JJ! Mikey, do you see that? I think she's following us. Following us? Who? That woman over there, by the fountain. I swear she's been tailing us since we entered the park. Are you serious? Why would anyone be following us? I don't know, but look at her. There's something off. I think she's a robot or something. A robot? Are you sure you're not overthinking this? Mikey, trust me. I've seen enough sci-fi movies to recognize a suspicious character when I see one. We need to hide before she catches up with us. Thank you for removing the barrier. I didn't mean to scare you. I just wanted to express my feelings. Who are you really? And why all this strange game-like world? Mikey tosses water bottles towards Clara, hoping to disable her animatronic features. Surprisingly, the water seems to short-circuit her systems, causing her to freeze in place. JJ, run! Mikey, that actually worked! She's not moving! Looks like water is her kryptonite. You thought you could escape? I won't let you leave. Mikey, what's happening? I thought we had her under control. I don't know, JJ. Something must have gone wrong during the repair. We need to run. You can't escape from me. I won't stop until you're gone. Mikey, we need to find a way to deactivate her or something. This is getting out of hand. There has to be something we can use to disable her. Keep running. JJ, grab a bike. We need to get out of here. Both of them jump on bikes, pedaling furiously to put distance between themselves and the temporarily disabled Clara. The wind rushes past them as they speed away from the surreal nightmare they found themselves in. Mikey, we need to find a place to regroup and figure out what to do about Clara. Agreed. Let's find somewhere safe, and then we can decide our next move. JJ, we need to keep going. That animatronic thing is still after us. I don't even know what that thing is, Mikey. Why is it chasing us? It's some kind of rogue robot, I guess. We need to find a way to slow it down or stop it. JJ, I've heard that some robots are vulnerable to water. What if we find a way to escape through the sewer system? It might throw them off our trail. Anything to get away from those relentless robots. Lead the way, Mikey. Mikey, are you okay? You seem hesitant to go further into the sewer. 
Yeah, it's just... It's so dark in there. I've always had a fear of the dark. It's all right, Mikey. We're in this together. Maybe we can find a source of light or something to help you feel more comfortable. <laughs> Look, Mikey! A flashlight! This should help us navigate the darkness. Mikey! We've got a serious zombie situation here. I brought tons of weapons, though. We can handle this. No way, really? Zombies? Okay, I'm ready for some action. What weapons did you bring? I've got a shotgun, a couple of pistols, and a wicked machete. These zombies won't know what hit them. Nice! I brought my trusty crossbow and a baseball bat with nails. Let's make sure we clear them out efficiently. Mikey, what's wrong? Why are you crying so much? I just got really scared, JJ. These zombies are relentless, and I thought we were done for. Hey, it's okay. We're in this together, and we've got the weapons to handle it. Take a deep breath. We've got a plan, okay? Yeah, you're right. Sorry, it's just a lot to handle. No need to apologize. We'll get through this. Look, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Literally. Let's head there and see if we can find help. I heard there's a robot at the end that can assist us. Yeah, seriously. It's our best shot at getting out of this mess. Plus, it might have some cool gadgets to help us against the zombies. Mikey, we need to get out of this water and find safety. Do you have a plan? And I am freezing, JJ. This is a nightmare. Wait, I have an idea. Take my phone. Maybe we can call for help or find a way out. Good thinking, Mikey. Let me see that phone. All right, I'll try to find a signal. In the meantime, let's swim towards that pier over there. Let's hope so. We need all the allies we can get right now. Once it arrives, we'll figure out the next steps. Stay positive, Mikey. Hello, JJ. Thank you for calling. I've been monitoring your situation. I'm here to help. Uh, you're welcome. So, you're not mad at us anymore? Well, you see, during my time observing humans, I've come to realize something profound. Uh, this is unexpected. I appreciate your feelings, but I never thought I'd be proposed to by a robot turned human in a bikini. 